I've been homeless for seven months. I all my money was just going to the school. I had hardly any money for food. I went days without food. I worked a full time night shift job to go work out and shower. I was really hygienic. I really made sure I brushed my teeth and showered every day. But I had to go to the gym, the 24 hour Planet Fitness is right there in Burbank. As of 2017, there's a Planet Fitness right there next to the Burbank airport. And I would just uh, try to sleep in a parking lot and try not to get kicked out. And it was really scary. And sleeping in the daytime was awful. My air conditioning wasn't working, couldn't leave the vehicle running. So I had to get like this battery operated fan, but it would just blow hot air in my face. So I was getting sun poisoning like every day. And I, there was times where I had no access to a toilet. So I had to like use the bathroom in a cup and it was just like, it was awful. And I was like, this is for wrestling. This is because I fell in love with this sport. This is because I fell in love with this. And I'm like, and I'm pooping in a cup and it really upset me. <laughs> and I was like, man, all I wanted to do is take this seriously. All I wanted to do was be the best of the best and be professional. And and I, there I was using wet wipes on myself and and brushing my teeth with a water bottle. And I, I remember being so proud of myself getting healthy and out there. And I would go to this meal prep store and they would have meal prep containers, which was really expensive. It was like $13 per container. But if you go there the day they expire, so you could still eat them, they'd be for like six bucks. So I could take that to my work and microwave it and uh, have a healthy uh, fitness protein meal. Um, but for six bucks, it would be the same if I went to McDonald's and spent six bucks. So I was doing that out in LA as I was training under Akishi. And I, I remember uh, spending almost a hundred dollars on vitamins. Cause I was like, I gotta get all the vitamins in, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta make sure that I'm doing the right thing. I bought gummy vitamins, put them in my vehicle and they all melted. Oh man. That's <laughs> Waste sucks. of money. I was so heartbroken. And I was like, God, I'm dumb. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, um, I remember the day when the accident happened, I was in the ring and Rikishi was there at class. Like sometimes he's off doing something with WWE or sometimes he was off working conventions, you know, getting like, these are paid gigs, you know, yeah. and they're going to signings and autographs and sometimes even like porn conventions and sex conventions, <laughs> he would go and be at those with all those beautiful women and men. And I was like, all right, Rikishi, whatever. So, but he was there that day and I played sports. I was a ballerina at the age of two. I'm pretty sure that's not healthy. And I I abused my body all throughout sports my entire life. Like, you don't understand. Like, I would be fresh out of school doing a cheer squad thing. And then after cheer, I would be changing and getting in my basketball jersey and going and playing a basketball game. And hopefully I'm only 30 minutes late. Like, I was juggling so much from the age of two to senior year. And then I got involved at after senior year, I got involved with professional wrestling and weightlifting. So my body has taken a lot of hits and I suffered with a thing called plantar fasciitis in both of my feet. And it was really bad out in LA, sleeping in my vehicle, getting poor circulation in my feet, working a hard job where I'm dealing with pallet jacks and unloading semi trucks. And I'm like one of the only females doing it at the time. And then going to the gym, going to wrestling training, three hours a day to it's just hard on your body and my plantar fasciitis was really bad in both feet and the day I was injured I tore both ligaments in my feet yikes yeah and basically you know that iconic shot of Vince McMahon when he tore his quads or something or his mm -hmm. knees and you yep. know how he like dove in tore them and then he couldn't get back up right mm -hmm. I do remember that he tore, he tore his quads um that was me <laughs> with my feet <laughs> and um oh god <laughs> I heard the pops and I heard it went pop pop as I slammed down on the concrete and so I was outside of the ring went over outside of the ring and then when I popped up like the whole class was on the other side of the ring because I was doing like a match and mm -hmm. uh the whole class was on the other side of the ring watching with Rikishi and I just remember popping up 
and then not feeling my feet like like I couldn't support my weight and I just collapsed and as Nate watched my friend that was with me experiencing the homelessness and everything with me he was sitting like next to Rikishi and he saw me pop up and then pop down and disappear and he's like his heart just sunk and he's like oh no and then I popped back up again and I got back in the ring I was going off of adrenaline, but I knew something was wrong. I knew I couldn't support my weight. I knew I was a young kid and I was like, my coach is watching. I can't embarrass myself. So I'm like, do it. And I just kept going. And I did not stop for two months. I stayed in LA. I stayed homeless. I continued my hard manual labor job on concrete for 10 hours. I, I continued wrestling. I continued training for two months with torn ligaments on the bottom of both my feet and it never got any better. And I really did some damage on my feet by doing that. Wow. Yeah. With my job, I have great insurance now. That's why I keep it. It pays the bills and I've had it for seven years. I make close to 20 an hour and it has great insurance. But where I was just like two years in, I didn't have the proper insurance yet with my, my work. So I went two months in LA, just scared, just a scared kid. Like, I'm like, I sprained my ankles. I sprained my ankles. And it's like, honey, this is, these are not sprained ankles. It's, it's not getting any better. And that's when I had to tell Rikishi, I was like, I'm sorry, I tried. And then that's when he got me and Nate in front of the whole entire class and said, these two kids never asked for anything. These two kids were homeless and never got a single ounce of help from anyone. They never asked for help and never received it. And he said, these are professional wrestlers. Wow. That's just... And, yeah. And... Six years of my life, I have been injured. That was six years ago. Right when the May Young Classic was starting that summer, right when I thought I was going to go and audition for that, right when I thought I was going to go audition for WWE that summer, all this stuff was happening for women. And I was like, this is what I dreamed of. It's 2016 or 2017. It's 2017. And I'm like, 2011? That little girl would have dreamed of this and it's happening. And I was put in a wheelchair when it happened. Oh man, that's just so devastating. Um, and not saying I have an ego, like I could have been on it or anything. Like I was going to audition, yeah. but not saying I would have got yeah. it, but you not had saying, dreams. I got, yeah. Yeah. But I was like that close and I'm just like, man, I did it the right way. You hear about the legends that take a piece of bread, put toothpaste on it and eat it. And that's all they can eat. Cans of tuna in a vehicle, uh, living from city to city. You hear about all the legends doing this. I did that to be put in a wheelchair. Man, you really made a lot of sacrifices and, and just, and went through so much to get to where you wanted to be. And, um, yeah. you know, you are a true professional wrestler without a doubt. You're a fighter. 